One small tree that's very popular among landscapers and gardeners is the hibiscus. And as we showed you last week, the hibiscus is more than decorative. It's also nutritious. As this week in Louisiana Agriculture, Michael Farrar shows us, the Southern University Ag Center is studying a test crop of hibiscus to see if it could be profitable for Louisiana farmers. Here in the nutrient-rich soil of the Louisiana Delta lands, many plants thrive, including these various kinds of hibiscus plants from around the world. Dr. Kit L. Chen showed me these lush plants as examples of just how well hibiscus grows in the field conditions on Southern University's Baton Rouge campus. Well, hibiscus plant basically, you know, is a tropical plant. So this is one of the crop here that can be grown easily, that you can just throw the seed around here and they will grow. All right. The only thing here is to have the varieties that the mature early enough to avoid the freeze damage in the fall, you know, and yet produce the high quality calyxes. These are the two key things here for any hibiscus uh, cultivar to be grown in Louisiana. Southern University is part of a program to give hibiscus seeds to farmers at no cost, as well as free advice on how to grow and market their hibiscus crops. It turns out that hibiscus plants have a growing value in an expanding number of markets. Their use as an attractive garden or landscape fixture is already established. Scientists are now studying the antimicrobial component to hibiscus calyx that fight E. coli in beef and salmonella which affects produce and other foods. The hibiscus calyx could play a major role in the food safety industry. Researchers here at Southern University are working in cooperation with West Virginia State University and Rutgers University to study the properties of hibiscus, which could have an effect on cancer cells, as well as nutritional value in our food. Moving from the outdoor test crop area, I went inside the plant lab that is unlocking the value of hibiscus as a nutritional food resource. Um, we found out that uh, hibiscus is very rich in antioxidants, in terms of flavonoids. And we also found out that uh, there are variations among different varieties within the hibiscus subdarifa, we call it the roselle. So we are now selecting different type of varieties to find out which one have a higher level of antioxidants and also which one can be grown in Louisiana. Reporting from Baton Rouge, I'm Michael Farrar for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Now, if you'd like to find out more about hibiscus as a niche crop, you can go to our website, twilighttv.org, and we'll link you to the SU Ag Center. And on their site, you'll be able to find some tasty recipes for making hibiscus tea, jelly, and cookies. And guess what? They're all rich in antioxidants.